They say small bones seep up through the soil on rainy days at the Canongate Kirk. The Corby's waits as Corby's do in search of worms and slugs. Musicians play Mozart in the Kirk. The music permeating sandstone walls filters through the stained glass windows, settles peace on famous graves. But the graveyards come to life. There's a troubled youth sitting on a blanket. Nearby, a cluster of down and outs, squatting on a fallen stone, sipping buckfast, smoking spliffs. I'm there, there to, to find, find the grave of a poet I hardly knew, buried among the ignoble dead, unnoticed and unknown, except to Burns, who put his precious pets to give to his elder brother in the news and inspiring spirit to my newfound poems, a stone that we can see and read and mark. Aye, the saltire flies, the corby's call. Your statue stands proud outside the kirk, striding down the road in fine attire. In truth, you were there at home with the troubled youth, frowning to his blanket on the grass among the tombs. I know you now. As I read the words Burns wrote for you, discover my own muse, and a finger bone may poke through the soft soil by Clorinda's grave.